find a way to grab a hold of revelation of, of the perspective or the dream of God that our whole life has been a waste. To align our vision with the divine perspective is to attain holiness. When you take on the vision of God, you begin to see the world differently. You look at people differently. It transforms and realigns your heart. Paul gives us a glimpse into the evidence of this heart change when he says our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, the authority, and the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This is the divine perspective. This is the practical, tangible working of the vision that forces us to see, oppose, and cast down not the people who oppose the gospel, but the spiritual strongholds that possess them to do so. You want to know how to bring people to Christ? Identify the spiritual strongholds that stand between them and God and tear them down with pointed, intentional love. Overwhelm the lies of the enemy in a person's life with such a powerful, observable manifestation of God's love that they cannot help but see who they really are in God's eyes. This is the love of the Father, intentional love. And this is the only love that will beckon people to salvation. David says, in Psalm 27, 4, he says, One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. He says, he says essentially, God, I long for only one thing. I am desperate for just one thing, that you would give me vision. Allow me to see what you see, God. Bring me into your courts. Let me, let me sit at your feet and explore the deep places of your heart, God. And this is the heart we must long for. This is our destiny. This is everything we were made for, to see what God sees. This, this will require sacrifice and struggle. It will call for discipline and endurance. But no man has ever seen his dreams fulfilled and regretted the sacrifice necessary to fulfill them. But no man has ever seen his dreams fulfilled and regretted the sacrifice necessary to fulfill them. Sacrifice necessary to fulfill them. But no man to fulfill them. And when we fight our way to a place in which we can lay hold of the dream of God, it will come with such an intense manifestation of the power of God that the whole world will change around you. This is because vision cannot come without the sweeping, consuming fire and presence of the Holy Spirit. Christ promised you will receive power when the Spirit of God has come upon you, and you will be witnesses of me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Witnesses! When you have been consumed by the Spirit of the Almighty, you will share in the vision of Christ's divine nature, supreme purpose, and immutable power. It will revolutionize the way you think, the way you minister, and the way you pray. Divine perspective is the mark of all those who truly contend for freedom. 